Hey guys, this is Ryan the Geeky Veep. We're continuing on with our Power Query video series. Today I'm going to show you quite a bit of what you can do in the Power Query editor. So we're going to go through, um, we're going to look at how to change value types. I'm going to show you how to choose columns. Um, we're going to create a custom column. We've done that before, we're going to create another one. I think we're going to actually going to use a, a, an if function for our custom column. We'll look at filters again. We're going to remove a custom column later, the one that we just created, which is fantastic because in Power Query you'll see that you can do something like that. It doesn't affect anything else. Uh, and then we're going to we're going to pretend like we made an error, and we're going to add back a column, which is very nice to do. Um, really, what we're focusing on here is the steps in the editor. And finally, I'm going to show you something called grouping. I want to be very careful with this. You really want to avoid grouping as much as possible in Power Query. Um, you want to do all your modeling through Power Pivot or Power BI and not within Power Query itself, but it does have that feature if you want to use it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have my data. Uh, my son is really into NASCAR racing. Uh, he's nine years old and is just fascinated by it. So I started to track the races um, so far this year. Um, and here's just a lot of the information you, you can pull in. Um, date, race name, the position, ending position, driver, and so forth. And, and their, their points that they get. So we're going to go ahead and load this into Power Query. So we'll go to that tab. And we'll do from table. Data as headers. So we'll click OK. All right. So here we go. All this information now in Power Query. The first thing we're going to do is this is where we're going to change type. You see, um, it's right now at date time, it shows 12 a.m. We want to change it to just date. Looks a little cleaner. Uh, and then we're going to choose columns because I don't want all of these columns. So come up here, click choose columns. It's a fantastic feature. Deselect. Um, so we're going to keep the date, race name, and the position, the driver. Uh, we don't have car number for everybody. We're not going to pull in manufacturer. We're going to take points and penalty. Okay. There. Let's go over the right real quick and see. Here's the applied steps. We pulled it from the um, table. The change type we did ourselves. That was changing it to a date and removed other columns. Okay. Let's go back over here. The next thing I'm going to do is add a custom column. We want to know, we're going to create a column um, for total points first. That's pretty easy. And total points is just simply um, the points that they get plus penalty. Let's click OK. See how that works. So let's see if anybody has a penalty. I think we have. All right, I think we're going to have to fix that into subtracting for a penalty. So let's, if you want to fix um, a custom column you've already made or any other step, a lot of times you have these little wheels over here to the right. Click on that and it opens it back up. So it's very forgiving, minus instead of a plus. We'll click OK. All right. Now, I don't really know if that's the right way to add the points up, but we're just going to make the assumption that it is. The next custom column we want to do is we're, we only want to see the people that have had top five finishes. And now you get to see the if function within Power Query. Uh, it's very similar to an Excel if function, uh, except you actually spell the words out. So, and it's um, case sensitive as well. So if you don't have to do a parenthesis. You just have to say if, and then we'll say position column is less than or equal to five. 
That means they're in the top five. And here you would go, then, and whatever the action you want to take, top five. You can hit enter and type in else, not top five. Okay, no syntax errors. So let's click okay. And there we go. So we're going to go ahead and filter all this information. We only want to see the top five racers for every race. We'll deselect not top five. And there we go. Now, looking at this, I think my son would like to know what the manufacturer is. He's really into, he wants to know if it's a Ford or Toyota or whatever. Um, so how do we add that back in? So we come over here to our applied steps. And remember we had this step here, removed other columns. We can check that again. And there we go. Now you just want to come back down to the bottom the last step to make sure there's no errors caused by you changing this air this step here sometimes there's some dependencies that can change everything up so you want to be careful still looks good last thing we're going to do is we're actually going to group um, by manufacturer see which manufacturer is performing the best and again this is something that i don't recommend you doing in power query you should do it in power pivot pivot tables uh, or Power BI, but I at least want to show you that it is something that is available to you. So you want to go to the Transform tab, Group By. We're going to Group By Manufacturer. And we do want to count. So this will give us the number of top five finishes. Um, we're going to also do a total points. And this will sum, and we choose the column total points. So not only we got the number of top five finishes, but the total points that they've gotten in those finishes. We'll click OK, and there you go. So Ford has had the most top five finishes so far. Total points, 734. And Chevrolet with 16, 717. And then Toyota is pretty far behind with only six. So there we have it, we, that's the grouping. Um, I don't recommend you use this, but it is possible, um, something to, to use within Power Query. Again, hopefully you found this video uh, of value. We'll see you the next time, thanks.